Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment, we're going to talk all about how to prune grapevines. Grapes are such a wonderful addition to the garden, and they produce a wonderful fruit that can be used as a fruit, or you can make it into wine. And there's a few rules that you should follow when you are pruning your grapes. So when you're growing a grape plant, usually the first year you don't get a lot of growth. It just grows onto the wire. And then by the second growing season, you will find that you'll get some growth on the bottom and then on the top. And you can start training the vines to go either direction. And then by the second winter, you want to actually cut out any of the bottom suckers and any of the top suckers and just leave the two main vines. And then that's what will grow best for the next year. So by the third growing season, you'll find that there'll be lots of new growth and they'll grow very vigorously. But then that next winter, you want to cut out all of the extra growth, not the main vine, but you only want to leave these two or three vines that are in the black. So this is called cane pruning. And you want to do that the third winter before you prune it any farther. And then after the winter, you'll find that they will grow very lush again. Now spur pruning is different than cane pruning. On cane pruning, you're pretty much cutting everything out. With spur pruning, you're just cutting it down to just a few nods on each growth. So you're just cutting all of the longer branches and just leaving the shorter branches. And then that way, you'll have little short spurs that'll fill out really nicely that next spring and you'll get lots of fruit. And then from then on out, you just kind of prune out any of the new growth each year and you'll find that you'll get lots and lots of grapes from year on out. By pruning your grapes each year and just cutting a lot of the new wood out and leaving the old wood, you will find that you'll produce a lot more grapes the following year.